yeah, I'm going to get a haircut. I'm getting one today, I promise. <laughs> Too much sea moss. Um, I was going to make a video about estrogen, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to save that for the next video. I want to read to you the opening two pages of my Female One ebook. I have two ebooks, Female One and Female Two. The first one is pre men and the second one is post menopause. These women editions ebooks are kind of special to me. I spent a lot of thought and put a lot of heart into it because women, women are magical. A man can cut down trees and build a house with his tools and manly equipment, but a woman makes it a home. She beautifies life. And without them, I think, without women in the world, I think men would have destroyed the planet <laughs> centuries ago. <laughs> if somebody has a health condition, the first thing they think is, what do I take? Well, you have to realize what health is and what causes the issues. It's not always simply taking something. It's like, well, what caused the problem? Let's, let's address the problem. What makes somebody not feel well? What makes them ill? What brings on negative energy and decay in that person's life? And usually the physical, a lot of times, is a reflection of the internal. So how you feel makes you decide what you do, what you, you know, people eat because they feel a certain way. They, they, they eat comfort food because they need comforting. So I want to read to you the opening uh, statement here to my female one ebook. And I think it's kind of important. And I, it's a message that I, I really, it's dear to my heart and uh, I want to read it to you. So women are very nurturing and often spend all their energies nurturing others at the expense of their own health and sanity. When female issues arise, it often reflects the lack of support for the woman to be able to express herself freely as a woman. It may not be on purpose, but often there is some sort of repression or sometimes downright oppression. And when something is not allowed to fully breathe, it starts to choke and die. As wild as it sounds, most cases of female issues somehow always reflect what the woman is going through in life. The inner reflects the outer perfectly. Hormones are such delicate things, just like the sensitivities of a woman. If the delicate balance is thrown off, things do not function like they are supposed to. So the answer is not simply what do I take, but what to stop doing. There must be a cleansing. Things need to start flowing again. Life force needs to flow and heal. And the delicate life force of a woman's magic is like a delicate flower that needs to be nurtured. It requires beautiful sunlight, water, and fertilizer to flourish or else it will wither. Sure, part of the reason is alcohol, cigarette, drugs, antidepressants, and junk food, comfort food. But really, a woman just takes those because she needs to turn to something to feel good if there is nothing else. The question is why? If she was satisfied with her life and free to express herself and travel and love and create and be loved and appreciated while she did it, then she probably wouldn't need to take things she knows are bad for her. Happy people want to take better care of themselves. Unhappy people don't care. So yes, I will list a bunch of herbs and food items, etc. But remember, the real reason is much deeper. Have a good look at your soul and why it feels the way it does. Whatever is happening to your body is just a reflection of how you feel and what you attracted. You can't hide this stuff forever. The sooner you deal with the deeper issues, the sooner everything else will fall into place. The Female One booklet covers periods, menstrual, uterus, ovaries, fibroids, cysts, estrogen, fertility, mood swings, morning sickness, endometriosis. One of those causes is stress. Nothing kills you more and faster than stress. And if you're oppressed or depressed because you can't express yourself as a woman, that creates inner stress, and you start to die inside. Now, I'll cover this more in the next video, but a woman's body is designed to grow life, a baby. So it's designed to grow things. Now, that's a delicate balance because if the woman doesn't eat right, doesn't treat herself right, she'll start growing other things in there because her body is designed to encourage growth. Could be cysts, could be cancer, could be a lot of things. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but men tend to die a lot from heart attacks because of their diet and lifestyle. Women, on the other hand, tend to favor cancer. 
So why is that? And we'll cover that more in the other video, but think about it. Something's eating up the women. What is killing them? Stress is huge. It's, it's a big factor. Change your diet, obviously. Stop snacking all day. Your insulin levels stay high. Insulin is a growth factor. Uh, if you're not growing a baby, stop snacking all day because they're going to grow other things. Uh, clean the liver. Liver is a central place for hormones and energy. So if your energy is low and your hormones are out of balance, start with the liver. Rebuild the adrenals because that's part of your energy too. But it really, it's not simply from taking something. It's stopping the things that are hurting you. Get rid of the wrong gut microbes and foster the right ones. What you eat determines what grows inside you. If you're eating bread, sugar, dairy, comfort food, wheat, flour, anything baked in an oven, that feeds the wrong gut microbes. You're going to create yeast and other pathogens. Feed the good, not the bad. Uh, sunlight. Sunlight is huge. If you don't get sunlight, you're not going to feel good. Your hormones are going to be messed up. Your bones are going to start to deteriorate. There's so many reasons why sunlight is necessary for health. You know how they say, have a sunny disposition or a dark, gloomy disposition. Do not get hormone replacement therapy. I've covered this many times before. Help your body make its own. So if you're having a lot of menstrual issues and things like that, which is the cleaning process of your body, ask yourself, why does my body need to clean itself so heavily? Why does it happen so much? Why am I in such pain? Why am I cramping so much? Why is it so much discomfort? Well, what is causing it to have to clean so heavily? In my ebook, there are signs, symptoms, and causes, uterine and cervical cancer, fertility, mood swings, endometriosis, and on and on. Women's bodies are very complex. They have to create a human life form, and as a result, they have more complex issues. And if everything isn't working just right and in balance, things get out of balance and things get out of control. And what we don't want is those things to get so far out of control that it's really hard to pull it back. And uh, I mean, women are so magical. They are so important for having a purpose. You know, the world, why, why do men do what they do? If there was no women on the planet, what would be the reason to live? There's something so comforting and so magical that women have to offer life itself. Women are not appreciated enough for what they have to offer the world. You know, we seem to tend to put value on physical things. A man can build a house, a car, an airplane, uh, you know, an air conditioner or whatever. Those are physical things. Well, women, yeah, they make a baby and get that. That's a physical thing. But they do so much more. What women have to offer is something from the heart. You know, my, my main email is beautify life. And that's what's most important to me, things that beautify life. And that's what women do. Women beautify life. They're very delicate. And if you don't take care of something that's delicate, it's very easy to have it wither and die. The last thing you want, man, is for your woman to wither and die inside. Even though she's painting up her face and having a smile on the outside, she could be dying on the inside. So that's so important. And men, please have a little respect sometimes and wear something more than just a t-shirt and a baseball cap, especially when you go out. <laughs> the woman deserves you to dress up. Show some respect. You know, we always expect the women to dress up for us. I go out to fancy resorts and restaurants fly all over the world when I can always tell an American man like he doesn't care what he looks like other men do in other countries but American men they just don't seem to care and they have what is with the baseball cap I mean really I mean okay we're you're losing hair so what look good for your woman she deserves it that's where you start make her feel good tell her more how much you appreciate her how your life would be empty without her you know and maybe then she'll start feeling better taking better care of herself if a woman's not happy she's gonna let herself go and that's what a lot of men complain about is like why did you let yourself go well think about it <laughs> it's not rocket science it takes two I really am strong about women's rights and having them be recognized for the value that they give this planet and life on earth so thank you ladies for existing <sighs> you are the magic that 
made my life worth living. And I thank you, everyone that's been in my life because you're all special. And the rest of you that I've never met, please know you're special. If somebody doesn't take care of you, learn to take care of yourself because you're, you're, you're worth too much to not be around. So this was an important video for me. I, I don't think I said it as elegantly as I could have, um, but I, I, think, I hope you get the message. And um, we'll talk about ex estrogen and all that in the next video. But until then, please know that you're special. And thank you for being here. All right. See you in the next video.